What's up everybody? Today we're going to take a look at my package. Today's video is just a quick unboxing. I'm going to do a little review on the deck inside of it. So the deck in question is from Wild Playing Cards. I was lucky enough to get one of the prototypes sent to us way before the Kickstarter they even started so I can unbox it, have a mess around with it, get some pictures and some video, which we're going to do now. The Kickstarter is due to go live on the 20th of September, so from this upload date, that's in two days time. So if you like the look of the cards and you want to get some, then head over to the Kickstarter and pledge your bid so we can get that funded. So yeah, first things first, we're going to open up the package. As you can see there, inside the package, we have another package. Anything else in there? I'll see one of the Jiffy pouch. And inside of there is the Wild Playing Cards. So these are the new playing cards, and they're by Amrit Singh and Wild Playing Cards. And what I've done is I've requested a bit of information about it, and I assume this is what it is. So I'm just going to go over the bits of information and then we'll take a look at the cards. So yeah, on the letter, I'm just going to go through. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you for working with us. This has been a long time goal to create my own deck of cards and we're so close to the launch. All this being said, there are still prototypes and a few small changes to the cards and I'll be explaining them here. Firstly, we're just going to go over some of the differences which we've got on the piece of paper here. The top box, there's going to be some changes. On the side here, where it says who's the card to buy and the first edition, those are going to be slightly larger on the actual decks of cards. And also the plan is to have a custom sale on the deck of cards itself if there's enough pledges made. And that will be a stretch goal for the campaign. On the prototype, the ear on the Ace of Spades is slightly different. So on the actual cards themselves, that will be slightly different. The symbols on the Joker card will also be moved slightly. So that's a difference to this prototype. Also on the prototype, the black faces will be slightly more grey but that's just due to a colour correction and that'll be fixed on the finished deck. So the back of these decks are actually marked for suit and value. Due to the 52 designs being on the back of the card, the designs had to be compressed, so that's affected some of the colours on it. So the back design may be changed into a slightly darker green, but there's no confirmed of that. The main goal for Wild Playing Cards is to create a deck which looks great, which I think this does, and make it affordable for people to buy. So as a result of that, there's no embossing or foil, which doesn't really make any difference because we'll see how the cards go. So now it's time to crack them open and have a look at the cards and see what they're like. So here we go, we've got the cards. I'm just gonna have a look at the case and, uh, and then go and unbox them. So on the front, you've got the Flamingo with the Wild Playing cards. On the back, you've also got the Flamingo and it's just a little one in the bottom. Also the tuck there. Side here, it's got by Amrit Singh and also the first edition. And on the bottom of the deck, it's just got the card in one day details. So time to open it up and undo the seal. The tuck case has got a really nice smooth texture on it. It feels quite nice in the hands. So we'll just crack it open. As you can see there. So there's the decks open. See there's the SS spades on the back. And they come in the cellophane. They also come in the cellophane too, so I'm just going to unbox those. Just take it from the side. So there's the cards. As you can see on the back design, it's a double way back, so no matter which way you put it, you're always going to have it the same. Looks really nice and colourful when you're flicking through, especially with the pink and the green. It just pops off. Yeah. So we'll go through and have a look. Now to the Ace of Spade, it's got the Double Flamingo on and the Wild Playing Cards logo on there. Go through, just your standard deck. As you can see here, it does seem to be a slightly more grey colour than black, but on the final deck that's going to be changed over. And here's the uh, Jack Queen King, just sort of your standard face design. And again with your diamonds. Just your normal red colour, just popping off. There you go, there's the suits again. Jack Queen King. We'll go all the way through and back to the hearts. So here we go. There's one of the Jokers. And there's the other Joker. So it's an identical Joker. So you can do some sandwich tricks or other magic tricks with them. Which is always nice having duplicates. Uh, especially with the duplicate Jack of Spades, 
So you can do a trick with that sort of thing and also a double backer. And as stated, the cards are marked, so I don't know if you can see that. But we have the little six there, so a seven, and an eight, a nine, a ten, a jack, a queen, a king. And they all have those on, so that is the value of the card. So what I'm going to do is just take out the double backer and the single card, which is the duplicate. So we have a full deck of cards with the two jokers. And we're just going to do a measurement to see how thick the deck is. So that 0.53 inches. And that equates to 13.6 millimeters. And the markings for the suit, they are on the other side to the value. So if you look there, it's on this little green flower here. That's where you can tell the suit. So that one's a club. That one's a diamond. That one's your heart. And go to the bottom and then one's a spade. What we're going to do is just see how it coats with the ferrule. Weave together quite nicely there. Nice sound as well. And again, I'll just do another ferrule. Feel quite nice in the hand. Look really nice when you're having a flick through, even just the back design with the flimming door. And also the front of the cards. Nice to dribble as well. So, yeah, those are the wild playing cards, which is the first edition with the flimming door on. And in the letter, Amrit mentioned that they might go for dark green on the outsides. I think that that could be a good shout, because while the green does pop off, sometimes it gets a bit lost. So I think if it was a bit darker, then it would just make it even better on the back. Black faces on the prototype aren't that bad. They are slightly more grey than black. However, when the final deck's done, then they're going to be black anyway due to colour correction. Thanks to Amrit for sending these. I'll definitely be using these in future videos and also sort of doing other magic tricks with them. Be creating some photos and videos for Instagram as well. So look out for those. So again, if you like the look of these, the Kickstarter will be out in two days. So you can go and pledge on that and get your own deck of these. And until next time, see ya.